Milo? Yeah? Come downstairs. Okay. Hi. Hi. I am Mark Rosell. I am Milo Rosell. And how do I know you? I am your son. Yeah, I got it right. So where are we? In my basement. Where have you been? Dallas. Why? Because of a cheerleading competition. You're a cheerleader? No, my sister is. Oh, okay. Do you, you remember uh, we were walking around all around Dallas? Mm -hmm. we, were, we were walking around and I was going to show you uh, one of the advantages of having a tripod, right? Mm -hmm. I just happen to have a tripod here. <laughs> Look, I, I, I match. One of the advantages is that we are able to take a series of stable shots. You know what I mean by that? It's not like tilted or anything. Right, and then I could take pictures over and over again with the same exact angle. I had the camera on top of the tripod and I was using a remote shutter, something called an intervalometer. Can you say that? Intervalometer. Inter <laughs> intervalometer. 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 Very good. You want me to show you what that looks like too? Mm -hmm. So this connects to my camera and then I can press this to take pictures. I can also set it up so that it can take pictures like once every second or every five seconds or a minute and it can make it really long extended exposures too. But the advantages of using a remote shutter like this um, is that I won't end up moving the camera when I take the picture. So between having the uh, tripod and the intervalometer, I make sure that the the frame is exactly the same from picture to picture. Uh, there are 30 pictures that I took of you. Watch what happens if I just press and hold the button so that we go through the pictures really quick. Ready? Go. That's so cool. What I really wanted to do was take all these pictures and combine them into a single picture so it looks like you are like all over the place. That's cool. At the same time, right? You, you want to mm -hmm. see how you do that? Mm -hmm. Here, so what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these and we're going to export and full size so this will be nice and high res. So we have all 30 images exported, right? Mm -hmm. And we want to pile them all into the same image and stack them up. So what we do is we go here, file, scripts, load files into stack. Now uh, NCA steps, do command A to select all, open, and it's gonna list them there. And then click okay. It's gonna take all 30 of those images and put them into separate layers inside of a single Photoshop file. And then it's look like I'm all alone? No, not yet. Not yet? Soon, hopefully. So here we have all 30 images stacked together. What we want to do first is find the layers where you're just sitting still. Okay, so that's one. So we're going to label this one red because that's that has you still. That one? That one. The reason why I wanted to find out which ones you were still in was those are the ones I definitely want to, to show where that, that to show in the final image. So, so the, the problem is when I turn all these layers on, all of a sudden the previous picture is blocked. So what we want to do is we want to create something called a mask. Uh, see this little mm -hmm. icon down here? Uh, you can add something called a layer mask. So anything that shows white is gonna is gonna show through, but if I paint the color black into an area, mm, you kind of disappear. <laughs> you kind of disappear, right? So here we're gonna do something opposite, right? We're going to make everything black with the mask, mm -hmm. and then use the paintbrush to paint you back in with white in that area. And then it's gonna show me everywhere. It's gonna show you everywhere. Let's remember that you're you're halfway on that step on the right. Fill that with black. Paint you in with white. And then finally, 
the last image. The last image. Oh, with you, but it's <laughs> you, <laughs> you're you're magically in the middle of everything. We zoom in really tight, and then we use that same black color. Mm -hmm. We can technically kind of paint you back in. So now, this by itself is actually pretty funny, right? Mm -hmm. But we took a lot of pictures of you, right? Mm -hmm. With like the streaks and you moving and everything like that, we can do the same effect. So there, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. So cool. You like it? Mm -hmm. What would what else would you want to duplicate? Nico. The dog? Mm hmm So how many dogs and how many Milo's? Two dogs, five Milo's. And then what what tools do you need to, to have? Photoshop. Photoshop. Cloning device. Tripod. And then finally, you need a dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this, what's this called? Vernometer? <laughs> Intervalometer. Intervalometer.